Hi, so we've been working on this Dynapod. Now, Dynapod Mark 1, we made a whole range of add-on tools, and I'm going to do something similar with Dynapod Mark 2. But Dynapod Mark 2, I want it to be made from things that are basically off the shelf, so that it's easy to do. So you're essentially clipping things together, and of course, that's what we did. We bought off-the-shelf components and screwed them together, which is why there was no welding. It makes it really easy if you want to do something like this, and you don't need a massive tool set. Now, the first thing I want to do with Dynapod Mark II is make it into a phone charger because that amuses the hell out of me. I think it'll be awesome. Now, we could take any old motor and turn it into a generator and we could put together a voltage regulation circuit so that that had a nice even voltage around about five volts coming out of it. All of that we could do. Or we could do this. I got one of these. It's a, a little hand crank generator that the Chinese have been making and it's had a few reviews on the internet and it's generally thought of as quite good. And that's it. It's a uh, Goso Technology Model F20. It's supposed to be 20 watts. I guess that's why F20. Uh, got a big old crank handle. Here it is. Turn that pumps out some power. Now, when I was looking at the reviews on this, actually, it was quite reasonable. It, it was fairly stable. It has two um, voltage supplies. There's this one here, which is regulated. This one's unregulated. And look at that, two USB ports. And we have a voltage selection switch. Folks have done a fair few tests on this, and they have hand cranked it to see that the voltage actually comes out. And you set that on five, plug in your phone into one of those USBs, and it's supposed to be able to charge your phone. It all comes as a pretty little box with the generator, which is no more than a um, motor out of one of these things, actually. It's just one of these things, and it's got a little voltage regulation circuit at the back. But that is ideal for our purposes, because it's a blue box we can bolt onto the Dynapod, pull it on here, pull it on the output shaft, and we're away to go. So let's do that. So while we've got it open for the adaptations, I thought I'd show you the inside. There's the voltage regulation board. There's the little motor. As I say, it's from a drill. And there's a gearbox here, and that's the handle you turn, and that plugs into the board. Now, all I've done is drill a couple of holes in the bottom and stick some M6 bolts through, because those M6 bolts are going to be what fits into the frame. And obviously, I want it to be modular, so I want you to be able to put it on and take it off. Okay, so there it is bolted in place. Now, all I'm going to do is find a pulley to go from here to here, the pulley belt, and cycle like mad. Okay, so a surprising amount of resistance actually when you span this by hand. So I put a big pulley on the generator and a little pulley on the output. We join those up by a belt. Uh, I've got to do something on making belts actually sometime because I made that belt. Okay, so I've okay. got it hooked up to my trusty old Ami to here and it's reading the amps. Let's give it a little bit of a pedal and see what happens. That's amazing, actually. That was an amp. Okay, let's stick it on volts. Now, this is regulated, and I've got this on five volts. I thought it had it on five volts. <laughs> oh, sorry, that was the unregulated one. That's a relief. <laughs> That's very cool. <laughs> okay, that's regulated. That's pretty good. <laughs> okay, that's awesome. Okay, I'm gonna take the plunge and try charging my phone. Okay, there's my phone, it's completely discharged. So let's plug it in to one of the outlets. See what we can do. So I've been cycling for about, I don't know, two or three minutes, and we've got 4% charge. It really was discharged to zero. Okay, let's carry on cycling for a bit. Okay, so I gave it 10 minutes and we've got 20% charge out of it. I mean, I did it this way because it's basically out of the box. I mean, this thing, I paid 20 pounds for it, incidentally, it was just bolted onto the front with a uh, pulley and attached and we can charge our phone. I don't doubt other people would do it a different way. I did it this way because I want everything super, super easy. So we can just take this off now and replace it with something else. But another use of the Dynapod is to charge your bits and pieces. Now, one of the good things about this, has quite a wide voltage selection, three, five, six, nine, 12. 
that's awesome. And as you saw, the unregulated output was 25 to 30 volts. So pretty good output from this thing, actually. And the whole concept together still remains modular. Anyway, there we go, the Dynapod charging a mobile phone. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching.